Hi friends. In today's video, we are going to see one of the most important topic in Dynamics 365 F&O, which is calculating the running average cost price. So if you are watching my video for the first time, my name is Sri Ram Sarvashankaran and I have been posting articles, videos and documents related to Dynamics 365 F&O. If you want to get regular updates, please do follow my profile. Okay. So first of all, what is running average cost? So running average cost generally when before whenever we do the inventory close process, the settle of issued transactions to receive transactions occurs, right? So based on which the based on the inventory valuation method, whatever we have tagged in item model group, the item price will be calculated. But if the inventory closing is not performed, then in those cases, the system calculates the running average cost price that is typically used when issued transactions are posted. So system tries to calculate a running average cost for every issue transaction that you post issue transaction I like I given in my previous post like physical issues can be packing slip or sales order uh, packing slip posting or return order packing slip posting production order picking list or financial issues can be purchase order return and you are invoicing the purchase order return and the sales order you are invoicing it your production order ending primarily goes for a financial issue transaction so whenever there is an issue transaction, running average cost is actually picked. And after that, that only when you perform the inventory closing, system picks the, settles the issue and receipt transactions and update your cost price. But the formula for the running average cost price is physical amount plus financial amount divided by physical quantity plus financial quantity. I know this might sound a little hard to understand for the, um, for the guys who are new to D365, but let's try to decode this. Okay. So first of all, I have already created a new product which has no transact, no history of transactions in the system. So I'll just show you. I just created today an item in the system. So RAC running average cost 14.3 today's date. I just created a fresh item, but uh, this item does not. I like will show you this item does not have any transaction in the system currently. So that you can clearly understand the concept of running average and if we don't have any on ad inventory also okay so for this item the most important point like i said the for the running average cost calculation in the item model group if you see the inventory model is before whenever we perform the inventory closing adjustment it, this is the inventory model with which the settlement is going to be performed but the important setup which we need to note here is the include physical value if this include physical value is enabled, then in the running average cost price, we are going to the system is going to consider physical amount and the physical quantity also. If this include physical value is disabled, then the formula which with which the running average cost price is going to be calculated is basically financial amount divided by financial quantity. So otherwise it will consider the physical quantity and physical amount also. So let's try to understand what is physical amount and physical quantity and financial amount and financial quantity so that we will get a good idea about in running average cost price. Okay. So first of all, let's uh, go back to, I'll copy this item. I'll quickly create a purchase order. So, so we'll create a purchase order. Uh, I'll click on new. on you um, so we are not getting into the details of how to create a purchase order so i'm just quickly creating the purchase order uh, we have already posted a video regarding the same purchase orders and purchase requisitions if you want you can check out the same let's say i'm taking a, a purchase order for under quantity at the unit price of 10 and then i'm confirming it so the moment i confirm it i'll just duplicate this window okay so the moment i confirm it system is going to generate a transaction line in the on under so if I go to inventory management, then uh, on and list against this item, uh, RAC 14, 3, 24, I can see a transaction line. Yeah, I can see a transaction line created and order in total is 100. So if I click on this item number, we can see the running average cost price. This field cost price inside the on and list page shows the running average cost value. So currently it is zero because there is no physical cost amount and uh, there is no financial cost amount also updated. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete the product receipt for this item. So what I'm going to do, let's say product receipt. Uh, 
four zero one. While doing the product recipe, I'm going to do the product recipe for fifty quantity. I'm not going to do it for under quantity. I'm going to do a product recipe for fifty quantity. Okay. Confirm registration. Uh, okay. No dimension batch. Okay, batch number is not specified because I have not assigned the batch number group. This is a newly created item. I'll quickly assign a batch number group so that the batch numbers are generated automatically. I'll go to release products. Uh, so sorry for the delay. Uh, I missed this particular setup. That is why it is throwing the error. So I will capture the batch number group. I will save it. I'll go back. And once again, I'll go back to registration. I'll add the registration line. I want to do the product receipt for 50 quantity confirm the registration now it is registered along with the batch number which is basically the purchase order number it has taken and then for a unit price let me keep the unit price as 10 and then uh, i'm going to close this product receipt so the once i close the product receipt for 50 quantity t35 actually physically updates physically inventory quantity of 50 is updated in the system so like i have shown here physical receipt purchase order product receipt is a physical receipt so it will physically update my stock so now if i go to the on hand so the product receipt is closed you can see the product receipt journal is posted now if i go to the on hand now i'm going to refresh the page so when i refresh the page you can see the physical cost amount i is updated as 500 which is because 50 quantity multiplied by 10 unit price the physical cost amount is 500 right now right now the cost price is also 10 it is showing because 500 divided um, 500 divided 500 is the total cost amount you can see physical amount is 500 financial amount we don't have and the physical quantity we did for 50 so 500 divided by 50 it gives the cost price of rupees 10 so that is the running average cost price right now so now for this 50 quantity i'm going to complete an invoice okay so i'm going to invoice so which will like i shown in the figure over here a purchase order invoicing will result in will result in a financial receipt so financial amount and then financial quantity will get updated right so i'm going to invoice i'm going to uh, i need to provide a number i'm just giving the date and then uh, invoice date as today's date then uh, but during the invoice i'm putting the unit price as nine okay so that i'm completing the financial inventory sorry completing the financial transaction for the same 50 quantity but i am doing it at a price of nine okay so i will post this invoice so this will financially update my 50 quantity of inventory right so the invoice is posted now i'll go back to the on and i'll refresh this page now you can see the cost price and the financial cost amount gets updated you see the physical cost amount is now moved to financial cost amount because 50 was the quantity which was actually physically updated but once we update it financially it will move from financial cost amount to the physical cost amount so now 450 so physical cost amount is zero you if you apply this in the formula physical cost amount is zero financial amount is 450 so the numerator is 450 and then the denominator if you if you can see that uh, total physical quantity was 50 previously now those 50 quantity is financially updated so financial physical quantity is zero but financial quantity is still 50 so 450 divided by 50 which is equal to 9 so that is why we got the cost price as 9 okay so let's do another scenario i'll go into create a new another new purchase order okay I'm going to create another purchase order come back whatever may be the vendor it is I click on ok now I'll give the same item number I am going to give a quantity of 80 but at a price of let's say 8 ok I will confirm this purchase order so I'm confirming a purchase order so I'm creating another transaction physical receipt so let's see how this system is picking the price so I'm going to receive and click on product receipt now this time I'm going to complete only the physical receipt. Receipt 14, 3, 20, 24, 8, 2. I'm going to complete the physical receipt for this entire 80 quantity. Okay. 
So enter AT quantity, I will confirm the registration. A batch number is generated. I'll go back and then I'll click on OK. But this time the unit price is 8. So 80 into 8 is the physical amount which will be updated. Right? I click on OK. So let me put it over here. So previously previously if you see the physical amount was actually zero plus financial amount got updated to 450 450 divided by the physical quantity was actually zero because it got financially updated once it is financially updated the physical quantity gets moved to financial quantity plus 50 so tot that's why we got the value as 9 now the physical inventory is got updated to 80 plus 450 sorry physical amount physical amount got 80 into 8 right just 640 plus 450 which is the physical amount plus financial and physical amount got updated right because we completed the product receipt we completed the product receipt for this line with the cost price of 8 so 8 the physical amount got updated to 640 so physic 6 640 is the physical amount financial amount which is which was already in the system is 450 now we we need to give the physical quantity also which is 80 plus 50 so i am just using my calculator for doing this calculation so the total value on the numerator is 640 plus 450 which is actually 1000 90 and then divided by remote meter 130 right so this will give me a running average cost price of 8.384 okay so this should be the running average cost price which we should get so now i'll go back so previous running average cost price was 9 so like I shown here, previous running cost price was 9. Now we have physically update the transaction. Now I will refresh this page. Let's see. So like you can see here, now the running average cost price is 8.38. Right? So which like the way we have calculated. So this is how the running average cost price gets updated every time when we do physical receipts or financial receipts or physical issues and financial issues. And each of your issue transactions will get the running average cost price and it is updated in your system. Also remember, like I told you that if the include physical value is disabled, then the, the formula which is actually used is financial amount divided by financial quantity. Okay. So this is an important concept. Please ensure that you try it out in your system with various possible scenarios um, by posting a sales order or you can make a issue transaction and then uh, put a receive transaction. You can physically update it, but not financially update it. You can try out multiple scenarios and you can see how the cost price is updated, the running average cost price is updated in your own hand. Okay, so that's it for today. This is a very important concept in the Microsoft Dynamics 365 financial operation. And if you want to get regular updates, please do follow my profile. Thank you.